Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the lens in a Reolink Go Plus camera. Now I'm going to warn you that this camera will automatically be voiding the warranty as soon as you open it up. Of course, I don't care because this camera is older and the warranty has expired. All right, so let's talk about the reasons why I would need to replace the lens. So from time to time, I've seen a couple cameras that I've had, the lens would crack or basically the lens just plumb fails. Another reason why you would want to upgrade the lens is if you bought a better lens and you wanted to swap them out. Okay, so let's go over the tools that you're going to need for this repair. So first you're going to need a PH0 screwdriver. A small pick a magnifying glass a small set of needle nose pliers and also you're going to need a flashlight okay guys to open up the camera uh, you're going to twist it counterclockwise take off the back cover and then from here you're going to pull out the battery all right now the battery's out all right from here I don't know if you can see but there's four Phillips buried in these notches right here. There's a notch there, a notch there, and a notch there. So there's, there's a Phillips in each one of these notches. So I'm just gonna take my, my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm gonna take out these screws. So there's three. And uh, we got one more in there we got to get out. There it is right there. All right. There's that. All right, from here, we're just going to um, pull it off. All right, so that's the cover. It's been pulled off. Well, the, well, the battery compartment's been pulled off. All right, so that's what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, so um, to get to the lens, 
we need to basically uh, take out this uh, motherboard. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. And we have some tape right here that we're going to pull up first before we do that. There we go. So we pull that up. Here's another piece of tape underneath that we're going to have to pull up to be able to pull the motherboard out uh, once we pull out the screws. So let me just pull this tape up right here and kind of kind of get it out the way. Okay, kind of kind of push that out of the way. All right. So so this motherboard's held on by three. One, two, three, Phillip head screws. And we're going to use the Phillip screwdriver to take it out. All right, that's one. All right, that one. And then that one. And then we got one here in the back we're going to take out. All right, so. All right, so that's out now. There's those three screws. And now we should be able to wiggle this out enough. So there's a piece of tape here that I'm going to pull off and this goes to the back here. Alright, so I just I just pulled this piece of tape back and it's a connector that's taped down. We want to pull the tape off so this can get more room to come out. All right, so this is coming out now, slowly but surely. I'm trying to let you guys see. There's another piece of tape right there in the way. All right, so this is, once I push this tape back right here, I'm able to lift this up and basically show you where the where the camera lens is all right so that just came up and as you can see let me pull it out a little bit more here's the camera lens all right so here this is a pretty good shot of it so here's the camera lens and uh, it's connected it is screwed down by two screws on each side and uh, it has a power cable that connects to the motherboard and if you can see here the lens can be unscrewed from the base and you can pop another lens in right without having to put a new base in so if you could you can see here there's a little bit of adhesive right here on the lens and it's on the other side also. All right, guys. So um, what I'm going to use to get this glue off is I got an exacto knife. So this is going to take a while to etch this glue off. So I'm probably going to speed this part up. You just got to take your time with this. Yeah, you got to be real careful because this exacto knife is sharp and you don't want to damage the plastic on the lens. 
but if it's sharp enough, the glue will just come right off. Yeah, so the glue's coming off. This is Acto knife. It's cutting right through it. Like I said, you just got to be careful. All right, I think I've got enough off to press to try to screw it. Try to screw it off. Let's see. <clears throat> It's coming. It's coming. Oh man. It's coming. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice and slow. All right. There we go. It's coming out of there. Oh, here we go. It's coming. Alright guys, so here's the lens right here after it's removed. You see the glue on the side right there and you see the glue on the other side. Alright, thank you. Thank goodness I got that off. All right, so here are the two lenses side by side. Right there. And I'm just gonna put the uh, replacement lens in. So I'll just lift this up and then I'll just screw it in. Screwing in.
right, so there you have it. There's a replacement lens installed. Now we just do everything in the reverse order and uh, put the camera back together. And it's just as simple as that. Stick it back down in there. Yep, just stick it back down in there. Yep, so that's back end down in there. Just like that. Yep. Yep. And then that's down in there. And then basically this goes back over top. Well, first you put the screws down on this right on on this right here. Screw this back down and then put the top on that and then put the screws back in, put the battery on there and then put the cover back on. Okay guys, anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so this replacement lens I'm selling at my store. So just go to my store in the description. Uh, and if you need this replacement lens, you can buy it there. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Catch you later.